Everybody, welcome to G. Parker's Arcade, where uh, I got pretty excited because I saw that uh, FX Pinball is now available on Epic. So I uh, downloaded, went to the Epic Store, pretty simple, downloaded Epic, downloaded FX, FX, not FX3, the new FX, and I got it up and running. Now this is running on the same PC that uh, I run FX3 on Steam on and my VPX tables here in the office. And uh, I was hoping to test it out and then see if I could move it over to my cabinet. I know it doesn't have cabinet mode, but I was hoping that it would the screen would rotate so I could at least play it without a back box. But uh, first of all, I'm finding that out to not be the case. And I'll show you. I, I started the program up. And let, let's just start by going up here. If I can get my mouse to come over here and go over to settings. And under settings, under video, I see nothing for rotating the screen. I can go over to advanced. I see nothing for rotating the screen. So I, I just assume that's out. Now I'm going to show you some other stuff. It's got, it's got audio settings. It's got control settings. Now I'm having a little trouble, but I'm new to this. So, Steam, Epic is going to be different, and FX is going to be different, but pretty straightforward. Left flipper, right flipper, left shift, right shift, uh, enter, ball launch, uh, power S. I hit that button once on the controller. It's power is, use power X. I did that and did some weird stuff here. I'm not going to do it now because it just shut the game down. I went back to my screen that shows uh, the Epic's door and it says the game's running but I couldn't get it to come back unless I just shut everything down just went down to the taskbar basically and right clicked and told to close epic and relaunch so I'm not gonna do that I already did a first blush of this video and that messed me up totally but let's take a look and see and I'm gonna give you my first oh no I don't want to exit I just want to go back here I'm gonna give you my first blush of this it's been a long time coming. Now let's go over to my tables, and I have not figured out for the life of me, other than using the mouse, how to move around here. I'm sure there's a way. I'm new to this, but it's like anything new. You know, I've always complained. Uh, you know, you got to read the forms, read things, and then you hope. Hopefully, you most of it's just hey, hey, folks, here it is, figure it out. But it's okay. I'm using my mouse. If I had this on my cabinet. Of course, I got a mouse and keyboard hooked up, but it's just its a little clunky for me right now, but it's not their fault just yet. Um, so I'm going to go over here to my tables. Now, I'm going to show you, too, that this collectibles, I guess this is stuff you can buy. I, I've already looked at that. Believe me, it's just stuff you can buy. Left poster shot, and you can, you can hit that, and then I guess you can pick that. But they offer some more uh, st stuff they can sell you. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. Tournaments. Uh, okay, how do I get back? Okay, tournaments. Okay, my tables. Let's go back to... All right, let's try tournaments. There, it won't... Tournaments doesn't do anything yet. Pinball Royal doesn't do anything yet. News... Gives you some stuff to read over here, like they're selling the Indiana Jones again, and and again the shop. You can go to the shop. Uh, selling you more stuff. Well, okay, here, let's let's take a look at tickets. Okay. Earlier, uh, you can buy a hundred tickets for nine ninety nine. Now, two twenty for nineteen ninety nine, forty nine ninety nine. For 525 $99 for 1,200 tickets. We'll get into that in a minute. But let's go back to my tables. They're giving you Curse of the Mummy, and if you go down here, uh, ET. Now, I'm under the understanding that these are going to change. They're going to rotate. Uh, I don't know if it's daily or weekly. I, I think I read somewhere that daily, you'll log in here, and there'll be two more games two will go away and two more will come up 
that's the way I plan on playing this for a while, because I'll, I'll tell you my biggest beef about this. Let, let's just take a look at Curse of the Mummy. I'm, I'm going to hit Purchase. And I'm going to add a cart. It's 55. That's 55 tickets. Kind of reminds me of an old carnival trick, you know. To play the games, you gotta have so many tickets, and to get the tickets, you gotta go over to the booth and buy them. Why not just tell me how much money? Well, it, the proof's in the pudding. There, carnivals figured out for a long time. You can sell everybody, everybody a bunch of tickets, and you may not. What if you don't use them all up? I mean, this is 55 tickets. You buy a hundred tickets is the minimum amount you can buy. So you'll have to buy over. You'll have to buy 200 tickets to buy two games. Well, that leaves you 95 tickets left over. Now, I'm sure you can do the math and figure it out. It just seems like a confusing way to get more money, if you ask me. I'm going to clear my cart. Because, here's the other thing I want to point out. I'm hoping there's bigger and better things. They're saying 33% off on these. Well, first of all, I already own... I don't see much new here. Maybe this pinball nor I can't. I can't remember. Is that on Pinball FX3? That looks looks new to me. But is Curse of the Mummy new? I, I'm gonna have to go back and check. My memory's not that good. You'll have to excuse me. But because I've got a lot, of, I've got every table on Steam, and I've been purchasing them on the uh, Switch. And I don't know if I'm gonna purchase them here. And we'll get into more of why here in a minute. But uh, even at 33% off, uh, first of all, I don't have any cabinet mode yet. I mean, I want to see that we are going to have a cabinet mode and what it's going to be like. And I want to play this table for you here. Okay. Curse the Mummy. And, and it is going to let you play it for free. So I'll hit play. Now, I just want to tell you, I am using my Xbox controller. And you can use the keyboard. And A uh, starts the game. Now, I just don't know. This looks good. But does it look that good that I'm going to pay these prices for this and that much better than FX3 that I'm going to buy these all over again or buy this particular table? I mean... And I do have to admit, when I first took this up, I'm using the uh, Xbox controller right now. It seems a little laggy to me, but I'll tell you what, I'm going to switch over here. I'm going to use the keyboard. And I'm telling you what, now that was my fault, but... That flipper is a little laggy on the keyboard. Now, remind mind you, that is a wireless keyboard, and this is a wired Xbox controller. So maybe that has something to do with it. I'm trying to be fair. But I think the whole ticket thing's what's driving me nuts. And rebuying a lot of the tables again just to get them on FX and on and, and no cabinet mode and I couldn't get the tournaments to work. That's early but you know they can say well it just came out. Well you've had a long time. I mean, they've been talking for a long time about this. So, I don't know. I don't know what to think. And, again, my intention is to give you... It's not really a review. It's it's my opinion. You can say, yeah, you're reviewing this. Uh, I, I, no, I'm not reviewing. I'm not saying uh, I wouldn't buy this. I would buy it. Maybe you'll like it. And maybe eventually I will. But... For right now, my opinion is, I'm not going to buy it. Uh, I'll play the two free games that they get and, and uh, take my chances that the prices might go up. And then I'll decide whether I'll buy or not. But I've got so many beautiful tables on Steam and on the Switch. And I'm under the understanding that this is a one year or so exclusive with Epic. And I'm hoping that maybe in a year it'll open up and Steam will have them and I can go back to buying them at a decent price and, and uh, also have the cabinet mode so and maybe they'll fix that soon too I don't know 
But I was just, I don't even care that the cabinet mode's not here. I just wish I could rotate it because in here I can usually rotate the screen in my office. I got it on a rotatable mount and I can at least play it where it looks like a pinball machine. And this plays fine. Some people, that's the only way they play. But, uh, okay. G. Parker's Arcade. Got a score of 1,692,031. So I'll hit the A button. That's okay. Now here's something else I haven't figured out. Press A to launch to start. X to view table guide. And Y to set manual camera. I'm going to hit X. Now see, it said to hit table guide. And this is what happened to me before. This is exactly what happened to me before. It just... Uh, now, I, I'm going to try to hit X again, because it did say that was power. Okay, I don't know why it did that, but uh, that messed with some, some other setting here on my PC, so let me see if I can fix that. No, I don't want to shut down. I don't know why it's wanting to shut down my OBS. Now, so let me go over here and see if I can show you my uh, what I'm looking at here. Okay, Th this is the screen that it went to with my uh, yeah with my uh, Epic Store where I hit launch FX3. Our FX and it says it's already running so I, I don't understand that okay it started it again I don't know just some funny stuff going on here could be me could be me but okay we got it back up so let's push A to start I, I just I don't know I don't know what that did and maybe that's what it's supposed to do but Shift plus F3. Let's since we're pushing buttons, let's just hit Shift plus F3. Okay. Well, I don't have any friends yet. I guess it takes you into social mode. So if if you get on Epics, there's my name, G Parker's Arcade. You can send me a friend request if you want. I'll accept it. But. Uh, Let's see how we get out of this. Go back to my tables. I want to see what it says. Leaderboards. I played the mummy. Let's see what leaderboard says. Okay, well, there you go. I mean, you be the judge, but uh, I don't like the pricing. There's a little bit of lag, and you can say, well, is your PC up to snuff to run this? Uh, I don't know. Maybe this takes more, but I know it runs great on my FX3 tables on Steam, and I know it runs great on my VPX tables, so maybe my computer, and I'm not going to get into what all this computer's got. It, it, it's been running a lot of stuff great. But maybe these tables require more power than what I got. So uh, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. But I still am letting you know that the, the pricing and for what I see I'm getting may be great for you. And if you want to get it, again, I, it's, I, I'm just giving you my first draft, my personal opinion on this, that... Uh, Jury's still out. We'll see what happens. But it's been a long time coming, and I don't see much here value-wise. But y'all be the judge. It's up to you. Again, just just telling it like it is, and I, I usually don't review things, but I thought I'd just jump in and take a look at FX because I've been excited about waiting for it. I'm a big pinball guy, and uh, I don't know. So... With that being said, happy faces, happy smiles, everybody. Uh, hope this eventually works out for them. 
but uh, I'll continue fiddling with it and uh, hopefully it'll get better. Thanks everybody. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care now.